Welcome, Molly. We are about ready to start a project that is going to take two parts. We'll do the first half this week, and then next week we'll do the second half. Our ultimate goal is to create a bunch of symmetrical patterns that we use a color scheme called complementary colors, and those, those are the color schemes that we are going to paint them with. Uh, the supplies that you are going to want to have with you are one, if you've got your fun little bubble project, um, this might be good to have for reference so that you can see how we um, have these different colors, how we mix them, which ones are the primaries and which ones are the secondaries. You are also going to need the sheets of paper like this, our watercolor paper. You will need this little piece of paper that has the different um, rectangles on it. We are going to be using those to create some stencils so we can draw out our patterns. You are going to need a pencil, a fine tip marker, sharpie marker, and an eraser, and a ruler. Your ruler can be any kind of straight edge, a regular ruler. I have my color wheel here. If you have a color wheel with you, you might want to pull that out, but really you can just watch my video and we'll show you that. And then for next week, you'll need paints, paint brushes, paper towel, and water, but we'll talk about that next week. So let's go ahead and get started in creating our fun symmetrical patterns. All right, Molly, in order to get ready, and started on our patterned project, which will be symmetrical and will be repetitive. And we will be using fun complementary color schemes. Uh, we are going to be using this tiny little sheet of paper that you have that have lines and rectangles on. We're going to use this first because we are going to be making little templates. This is a thicker paper and we're going to use this to trace our patterns on. I want you to grab your pencil and we're going to go ahead and get started. We are going to start with a little fish design. Since we did those really fun circle birdies, I thought, oh, let's we haven't done anything under the sea. So we're going to start with a fish. So in one of the rectangular sections that you have, I want you to go ahead and you can see, I'll set this just above, we are going to be making an oval first. So we'll go ahead and you just want to kind of fit it in that space. So I've got an oval shape. Then you're going to add, and you can see if I put that back on, what shape that is. That's a triangle. And this edge we're going to use on the edge of the paper. So we'll just go ahead and add the other two lines. So we've got this line and this one. So our fish is going to be really fun. So we're going to go ahead and make a fish. I thought that maybe I would want to make a teardrop or a drop of water. So you can see how this is basically an oval at the bottom and then it's pointy at the top. So I want you to go ahead and try making that same kind of shape as well. Now we are going to, you have four sheets of paper, watercolor paper, so we are going to make two more shapes that we're going to use to make a pattern out of. And that's really up to you what you want to do. I'm going to do ones with straight lines and basically make these um, diamonds, which is very similar to our fish, but it's angular. It's got the straight lines instead of the smooth ones. You can make that same shape if you want or you can come up with your own. So it's up to you. I think the next one that I want to do will be a, a little bit, I was gonna say a little bit more bubbly. 
I'm going to make it um, a shape that maybe is kind of like the side of a leaf. So this would be where um, the edge of the stem is, and then this would be the curled up edge of the leaf. You can make whatever shapes you want. You could do circles, you could do a heart, a really skinny heart, like this. Whatever shapes you want. But you want to have four. So I have more than I need here. Once you have come up with your shapes, we're going to go ahead and cut them out. I'm actually, I'm cutting my um, paper in part, and this one I'll be sending home with you. The best way to cut out your shapes is to go ahead and divide them first into sections. They're a little bit easier to control. And then we're just going to go do some of our basic cutting, which I know you're getting really good at, Molly. So I've got my fish shape. do a moon shape. There are a lot of possibilities. You could do a little turtle shape if you wanted. Stick to, to animal sizes, shapes and sizes. So we've got that. And this is my a little bit more organic leaf. And we mostly just want these so that we have something to trace to make our symmetrical patterns. I kind of like my little heart idea. For paper, you'll be able to make five designs if you decide that you want to do that as well. You have to be real careful, careful here so you don't um, separate them and cut them up apart. So we have all of my shapes right there. I'm going to keep these in a spot so we don't lose them. I'm going to set them up here on the color wheel. We'll be talking about colors later on, but right now, today, we're just going to be working on creating patterns out of shapes. And we want our patterns to be symmetrical. And if you remember from last week, Symmetrical means the same on both sides. So I'm going to take my watercolor paper and I'm going to pinch it down like that and I just press it. I don't press all the way. That's going to show me where the center of my paper is. You, then you're going to go ahead and take your ruler and you're going to find that center fold and you're going to draw a line down it like that. And you want to go ahead and do that to all four of your sheets. And we're putting that line down our paper so that we will have an easier time making our designs and patterns symmetrical. Right, we have four practice sheets now. You won't need your ruler, so you can set that aside. And I've got my extra paper, I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to take our shapes and we're going to make patterns out of it. And the way we are going to make patterns, patterns are when you repeat shape or color or line. So we are going to make a pattern that we're going to repeat. I'm going to flip the fish around and I just line up that tail with that middle edge. I'm going to flip it again. So it 
what's fun to see is how you've already created a fun pattern with it with and this is where we like we have the little eye so with the fish switching back and forth now this is not symmetrical because it's not the same on both sides but this is our other side so we are going to basically make this other side the same and that's why we like having a little fish to trace because it helps us do that so now these are the same on both sides. I'm going to reverse flip my fish over and trace the fish three more times down my paper. I line up those tails for the ones that are have their tails towards the center. flip them so their little mouths and faces match up for the other. There you go, Molly. That's our first pattern set with our fish. We are going to take our other shapes and continue to make symmetrical patterns like we did with the fish. This is fun because we create a pattern by repeating this shape. There we have our next one. And you can see how they look similar and yet look different. I like my heart, so I think I'm going to take my heart. Now for this one, I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I'm going to do two one way, and then the next one flipped. And then I'm going to do you again. And this one isn't gonna fit in all the way, so I'll just trace it to the end. Now we want our points to match up, so if it's got a point here, we have a heart pattern that is symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. I want to use my uh, diamond shape. I'm going to line up that tail, that half diamond, really close to the edge. I'm going to flip it so it can be symmetrical. Like that. And then I'm going to reverse it. Like that. And that way this little part fits into the negative space that was left by the top one. And then we'll line these up again and we'll go all the way down the paper.
there you have it. We have our little shapes that we used to help us create our designs. And we've got our four different patterns made by different shapes. The next thing, Molly, that we want to do is we want to trace these with our black Sharpie marker. Next week, we are going to, going to be painting these with special colors. We're going to be um, creating special kinds of color schemes that we call complementary colors. We'll talk more about that next week. The last thing we want to do today is just go in and I want you to trace your shapes. I don't want you, don't trace the line, just do the shapes. I think I would like to finish off this little bit of an end because it didn't come all the way to my paper. Oh, no. See, look at I'm drawing on my table. So I'm going to put this underneath so I don't get that on the surface. And I'm just continuing this pattern that um, was on ours. You don't have to do that, but I just think, oh, I might as well which means I basically make a little small triangle at the end and then I just bring two lines down for this open one. So you can kind of see what that looks like now all the way across my paper. The next one I'm going to do is the tear or water droplet shape. And you want to do the same thing. You want to trace it, but you don't want to draw the line down the middle. What I find interesting is as I darken these and outline it, I like that you can see the patterns better and it helps you decide whether you like them or not. And there we have our heart pattern. The last one I have are the fish designs. Now what's interesting as you're doing this and you're making these symmetrical designs, you might be thinking, oh, this is interesting, but I don't know if I like these patterns. And that's okay, because as you're doing this, the, I think the part that makes our patterns come alive and get really interesting is when we are filling them in with color. For the little fish, I'm going to put little eyes in them. And on their tails, I'm going to put some lines that are diagonal. You can put a little mouth on them too if you want. Just doing that by putting on just a little line that goes across. So now I have friendly fish. So here are our four patterns, Molly, and we are going to be painting these with different color combinations and uh, I hope that you had fun making the patterns and that you can see 
how they're the symmet how they're symmetrical so that if you fold them in half you have the same on both sides you can see that on this as well so this means that we are all prepped and ready for the painting part of this project for next week i hope you had a lot of fun making the patterns and i want you to feel free to put in if you want to add a couple of lines or designs inside these um, shapes like we did to the fish you can go ahead and do that as well where you put like I could double up the shape but if I do it on one side to keep it symmetrical I have to do it on the other side so I could do that Like that and you can come up with whatever kind of extras you might want I might put like a reflection bubble like that in my little water droplets but again if I do it on one side I have to do it on the other side So however that looks, it has to be the same on the other side. Anything we should do to the heart? I think I just like the hearts just the way they are. All right, Molly, I look forward to seeing your patterns. Uh, post those on Seesaw, and I look forward to seeing them. And I hope you have fun playing with patterns and symmetry and we will uh, be getting ready to paint next week. Have a great, have a great week.